it's Bella. Lately, I've been constantly thinking about what others may think of me, what I put out, what I do, and everything. I think about the words that they say, or anything that I say. I overthink the smallest things. When I say I'm an overthinker, I would think about all the things that I've done in the past 24 hours. If I were to be honest, right now, my mind keeps telling me that people will watch this video and think that I'm only doing this to gain a positive reputation in the church or Christian community. That people would look at this video and think that a young individual's words wouldn't reach a heart of a person because they wouldn't believe the real reason why I did this in the first place. It's so easy. It's easy to feel like I'm not doing much or if I'm doing too much. Things like these are rarely talked about and sometimes it's difficult to find people to actually reach out to. I was told by one of my friends recently that, yeah, overthinking. It sucks. A lot of us go through it, and I'm sure that a lot of us can relate. Especially people our age, it's easy to overthink because we are so into social media nowadays. I was told that love casts out all the fear and anxieties and all of the bad negative thoughts that we have. The only valid opinion that we could accept is the Almighty's. Yeah, it's easy to accept negativity and all of that. But if we choose to love others and the way that we express ourselves, that negativity would slowly go away. I was also told that there is nothing cowardly about the way that we express ourselves. We were created that way and we are to use our gifts for God's glory. I was also recently told something that I kept thinking about for the past few weeks. Like I mentioned, I overthink a lot about what I would put out on social media or what I would tell others. But I was told that instead of thinking about what will they say, we think about what will they need to hear. A lot of my insecurities stem from having too much faith in somebody else's convictions. But why not have faith in God, you know what I mean? I was also watching Stephen Furtick's sermon. He said something along the lines of, If you don't know where I started, then you don't need to judge me for where I am at right now. Can I preach this? If you did not see where I started, please do not judge where I'm at. And that hit. I've been delivered out of the situations I once overthought about. I'll never know the situations that I would get myself into for tomorrow or the next few days, weeks, or months. We tend to rely on the thoughts that are swimming around our minds instead of relying on Christ. I'm just gonna leave you with that. God bless.